Tricks, right? Mark Sorry. Feinstein is along the way. Guys, uh, here is the first topic. And, Bill, I'll start with you. Yep. Ball or strike? Don't get excited over a 4-0 start. Um, don't get excited over 4 and That's a ball. Because okay. you should always be excited ball. when you put a little um, streak together. Yeah. Now, if this was in the middle of the season and you're playing around 500 and you win four more and you go four games up, no one gets excited about it. But to start the year out of the gates well, I think it's a, it's always better, right? I'm with you. To do well than right not out of do the well. Right out of the shoe. Spring training w was just passed, right? Yes. People go 10 for 15 in spring training and say, well, do we get excited about spring training? It's always better to be doing well than not. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with him. Both I of think you guys it, with listen, shirt. you can go 0-4 oh. or 4-0 and oh in June and no one's talking about you. You can go 2 for 20 in June, no one's talking about it. You start the year 2 for 20, everyone's in a full panic. All right. So much better to have everyone relax, yeah. everyone chip in. We're 4-0, oh, we're playing good. Drop a ball game tonight, we're 4-1, and one. nobody cares, we're moving on. Instead of 0-4 oh, and, and, and there's already panic, like the Phillies are flat. Right. Well, let's, Mark, let's drill down to those two teams that we showed there on that graphic, the Rays and the Twins. What, what sense do you have of, of real staying power building on these starts here? Well, I picked both of them to make the playoffs. There so you I go. I believe in both teams, so I'll go ball. That said, they're not going to go 162. Ball. Ball. Pretty sure about that. <laughs> uh, they are 1-2 in the league in ERA after four games, right? The Rays are, have a 1 ERA as a team. Yeah, the, the Twins have a 1-2-5 ERA as a team. So. That's not going to happen for the year. Joey Gallo's off to a really hot start for the Twins. Does that hold up? That could tell a lot as far as where their offense goes for the year. So I like both of these teams. Uh, you know, they both have a lot of work ahead of them over the next 158. All right, uh, let's start with this stat here because we're going to talk about the opposite end of the spectrum. The Philadelphia Phillies last night became the sixth team all time to make the World Series one year, and then the following year follow up with an 0-4 start. Of those previous five teams, none of them made it back to the World Series. So, ball or strike. Don't be concerned about the 0-4 Philadelphia Phillies Dero. I'm going to say ball only ball. because I have to trust that Kyle Schwarber's not going to go one for 20, mm -hmm. that Zach Wheeler's not going to have a rough one, that Aaron Nola's not going to have a rough one. Like, yeah. these are accomplished big league ball players. They're going to get Harper back. I, I think they're going to be So just to be clear, fine. yeah, you're, that's a strike for you. You said ball, but it's a strike because you're not concerned about the Philadelphia Phillies. No, I'm it's not. It's all in the wording of these yeah. questions. What I'm right. concerned that's right. about is Bill. this shirt. I tell you what, I'm going Abs to say. not right. I'm going to say ball. Okay. Um, because I am a little concerned okay. uh, with what's going on right here. Interesting because when you threw out the historical numbers about none of the teams getting back to the World Series, mm -hmm. the 84 Orioles were one of those teams that went over. Four, over they won the World Series in 1983. That's correct. Um, the optics just not pretty. Um, how it's happened, how it's played out. So 0-4 is 0-4 to start a year, and you should be somewhat concerned over that. So I'm going to say yeah. ball. Let's take it to the 40-game mark. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to argue with it. I know. What do you got, Mark? Oop, I don't have 40. To strike I don't have I'm not worried, right? Strike means you are not, not concerned. All right, I'm going to go strike. Okay. Here. And I say that because, <laughs> A, this is a team that went through a whole lot of disarray last year. Yeah. Righted the ship. True. And made a big run of the World Series. So there are a lot of guys there who have been through some bumps before and come out the other side looking clean. Like you said, they get Harper back. Nola, Walker, Wheeler. Have that's good. ERA over 10 mm. through their first time through the rotation. I'm guessing that's going to come down. Yeah, that's so uh, I wouldn't be worried just. Let's stay in that National League East division. Dave O'Brien does a great job covering the Braves for the Athletic. He posted this tweet with a quote from Spencer Strider saying, uh, sometimes I get a little nervous before the game, and then I look at our lineup, and I feel a lot better. That's no offense to anybody else, but we've got a lineup I don't want to face. So the question is, and D-Row, I'll start with right. you. Ball or strike? Braves have the best lineup in baseball. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy to think you take out Freddie Freeman and Dansby Swanson? And I'm, I'm, I'm probably going ski right right here. I mean, I can make the argument for the Padres. I like the St. Louis Cardinals top to bottom. 
But the way they're swinging at bats right now, if you watch that game against the Cardinals, Ronald Acuna is completely locked in. Mm -hmm. He took a curveball on the outer half and went right field homer, oh. then got 98 from Jordan Hicks, two-seamer, up and in, and shot it down the left field line. Austin Riley hit a ball, <laughs> the fourth furthest ball it's ever been hit at Bush last night. 470 almost on the concourse. Matt Olson had seven bombs in spring. Yeah. So it's a strike for you, Bill. Yeah, right, right now it's a strike. This is where I was prepared to upset Lauren because uh -oh. if you give me the field, You're I take, take the you field. Take the field every time. So this every is a time. ball because All right. ball. It, it didn't say the best lineup right now. It said the best lineup in baseball. And no, there's too many good teams out there. There's too many lineups. And yes, it's they're firing good, right now. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind. I'm not mad at Spencer for saying I wouldn't want to face them. That's not the question. The question, are they the best in baseball? Okay. Still a conspiracy theory the guy. Field. Like, I, I don't get the whole RC of playing short and Vaughn Grissom and yeah. AAA. I'm yeah. still not processing that. But I love the rest of it. Ball or strike, Mark Feinstein. I'm going to go strike for now. Okay. I think right now, I, I, right now the Braves are the best lineup top to bottom. The Padres, you know, middle of the lineup might be the most fierce group of a lineup. The team I think I'd look at as potentially the one to overtake them is the Cardinals. Mm. They're really strong up and down. Gorman's off to a nice start. Talked about Jordan Walker as being a potential beast in that lineup. Uh, if those two guys live up to the hype, and Gorman can come up and have a big year, and Walker can be Walker. I think the Cardinals have yeah, the chance to overtake.